Bob Gibson here. I was on a business trip in China recently and I came upon an unusual sight. I was out for a stroll in downtown Shanghai when at the side of the street up ahead I saw a band setting up. It was just a few guys, but the musicians had uniforms like marching bands here in the States. They had coats with chevrons, hats, the works. And I thought to myself, what are these guys going to play? Now here was a local Chinese band in Chinese uniforms. I think they were probably employed by the Chinese government. And naturally, I expected to hear some exotic rhapsody, a traditional love song maybe, or folk music handed down through the centuries. I was curious to see what Chinese sheet music looked like, so I worked my way around behind one of the musicians. What a surprise. As many of you know, I'm a former musician. My degrees are in music, and that was my first career. Well, when I peeked at the sheet of music clamped under this little brass lyre on this guy's horn, there wasn't a single note of music on it. It was all just lines of numbers. Five, 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 one, two, 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 three, three. <laughs> now, I know my clefs, bass clef, treble clef, uh, but I've never seen anyone read music just by numbers. Well, I didn't have anywhere to go in particular, so I decided to just stick around and hear what they were going to play. When they finally cranked it up, they played When the Saints Go Marching In. I couldn't believe it. The second number was an old Stephen Foster song from about 150 years ago. Now, I can hear you thinking, Bob, what's this got to do with negotiation or business of any kind for that matter? Just this. When you're dealing with a foreign culture, never underestimate the power and influence of American culture. Never think for one minute that what we do here in the States, the food we eat, the music we listen to, the movies we watch, and yes, our business views and our business models doesn't permeate every country in the world. When you can stop on the streets of Shanghai and hear a local Chinese band playing When the Saints Go Marching In, you really get a better sense of just how powerful and pervasive American influence can be. Right now, as you view this video, American influence is quietly, and maybe not so quietly, permeating every corner of the world. So keep this in mind when you're dealing with other cultures, other countries, other business styles, and open your mind as to how this might apply in your next negotiation. Next month, I'll be on assignment in Kuala Lumpur in India. Now, I don't expect to see a band in the street, but I do expect to see business cultures influenced by American thinking. So if you're thinking about opening up markets or doing business overseas, don't hold back. Don't think of them as so different that what you bring to the table won't find a home there. You may find people in other countries more receptive than you might think to your products, your services, and your ideas. So I'd say this to you, come on in, the water's fine.